Right on, fellas. What's up? It's me, Scooter Deuce. <laughs> That's my alter ego. Anyways, GY6 150 long case. Um, what we're doing today, because um, I'm getting this ready for, uh, I'm, put, I'm building a ruckus. GY6 ruckus swap. This motor's going on it. It's got the long axle shaft in it still. So, I'm going to show you guys how to swap out the long axle shaft for the short axle shaft. You know, it's really easy to do. It's really easy to do on the bench. But, if you got your bike, you know, on the ground, you can do this with the bike on the ground. But, you got to take off the CBT cover. You have to take off the rear clutch assembly to get it down to here so you can remove the transmission cover or the the gearbox cover here on the back of the case i've art there's two there's two bolts there's a bolt right here at the end of my finger for draining fluid and there's one right here for putting fluid in so once you get you know down to this point remove this bolt down here at the end of my finger drain the differential fluid out of it then you're going to remove one two three four five bolts and this cover is going to come off i'm going to put you on the uh, i'm going to put you on a tripod here to, so hang on Right on. There's a bird's eye view. And I'm just going to do it real quick. That way you don't have to be scared of nothing. Nothing's going to happen. Do, do, do. I'm hoping to take pry this apart and save the gasket. But if not, I got another gasket kit coming tomorrow, but or you could use some, you know, some Honda Bond. You don't even need a gasket if you got Honda Bond. But anyways, let's take these screws out. There's four or five, there's six of them. And let me get a little pry. Let me get a little tap action going here. Um. Damn it. All right. Now, I got her loosened up. I got her loosened up here, so we're going to... I'm going to pry a little bit. Alright. Now. You just want to pull out on it. Pull back on it. Give it a little wiggle. Ah, come on now. Shit. Well, I wasn't able to save the gasket. But anyways, what's going to happen? What the hell was that? Um, oh, my, my dowel pin fell out. Um, but anyway, right here you go. That came off. So, what you're going to do is you're going to... You're going to get a hold of this big gear here, take it out, and then this, this secondary gear just falls out. Then you can just give this axle a pull, long axle comes out, 
lay it aside short axle take a little bit of your grease take a little bit of your oil put it on the bearing here if you're going to replace your seal or you got a leaky seal right here this seal you could replace this seal at this point if it's leaking this one doesn't happen to be bad so i'm just going to leave it but put a little bit of oil around this and then you're going to take this and put it back in place where the long one came out see she went right in you're going to take this one just like so and you're going to put it right back where it came out then you're going to take this one just like so right back where it came out then you're going to put your new gas you're either you're going to take this old gasket off you know use some uh gasket sealer um or a new gasket and then you're just going to put this right back on you're just going to put this right back on just like so come on just like so then you put your bolts back in bop 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 six of them and you got a short axle let me wipe my hands real quick and i'll show you all right damn this thing short axle baby it's that easy nothing to be scared of easy peasy you know now i'll take that off and i'll put a new gasket on it tomorrow or i'll use some honda bond and i'll snug it up and it'll be done but that's how you replace the short axle the long axle for a short axle you guys godspeed keep it between the white lines keep the rubber on the asphalt between the ditches <laughs> be groovy guys